the internet, Donna here. Um, I wanted to uh, talk about some questions that you should ask your dentist. Now you could ask a bunch of questions about extractions, dentures, tooth restoration, any of those things. There are probably thousands of questions that you could ask. I wanted to hone in though on extractions and focus on three questions that you should ask. Now, when you're told that a tooth might need to be extracted or does need to be extracted, the prospect might not seem like a pleasant one. I mean, really, who likes to have their teeth pulled? Uh, if that's you, don't bother leaving a comment because I don't want to know. In some cases, it is the best option for restoring a smile, though, and if extraction is already uh, necessary, hesitation might make it worse. Now, I know that um, for me, when I first started getting told that I needed extractions, I would go and I would have back ones pulled. No big deal. It's in the back. But as front ones started needing to be pulled, I hesitated big time. And when I say that it could make matters worse, I'm talking broken teeth, abscesses, uh, chipped teeth, cracked teeth, broken off at the nub teeth, bone infections, you name it. I had all of these things. Uh, and... I don't know if all of that lent itself to periodontal disease, um, but I'm sure it didn't help matters much. Uh, so if you're told that you need extractions, it's best to act on it um, just as soon as you can work it into your schedule. Never mind feeling up to it. Never mind um, being scared of it. Never mind any of that stuff. You should be more afraid, and I'm here to tell you of what can happen if you don't get the extractions. Um, this happens. <laughs> And this is a beautiful smile, but this is a beautiful smile that I purchased somewhere. Um, I put off having dental work, extractions, root canals, caps, um, for far too long for lack of insurance, lack of funds. And uh, what started off as three crowns that failed and needed to be replaced ended up to be a mouthful of rotting teeth. Uh, yeah, there's a whole nother video about that, though. If you go back and watch my very first video, it goes into the whole shit and shebang about why I needed dentures in the first place. Um, so anyhow, hesitation will definitely make your situation worse. Um, because teeth don't grow back, however, your dentist will ensure that tooth extraction is indeed the best option for you. And you should, too, by asking your dentist a few questions about the procedure. Now, I wanted to focus on three of those questions today. Again, there are many, 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 many that I'm sure you have. Uh, but first, let's go into, is it really necessary? And forgive me, I've got notes here. So if I'm looking off screen it's, or off camera, it's because I have notes. Is it really necessary? Now, tooth extraction is normally a last resort, last ditch fix for most dentists. A lot of dentists want to save every tooth that they can, save all the teeth, and sometimes the tooth just can't be saved. Now, in the case of an impacted wisdom tooth, which I had four of those, um, that's going to threaten your entire smile, and there's really no option for fixing it. Extraction is the only way to save the rest of your teeth. And, you know, we're all pretty familiar with that. We all pretty much know that. That's cool. But if a tooth is severely damaged or if its root has been damaged, restoration might not be possible. Um, however, teeth are highly resilient, and the right dental restoration may be able to save the tooth, in which case it shouldn't be extracted is the popular opinion. For me, um, that's going to depend on, uh, in my opinion, what kind of timeline you want to look at for uh, failure of a root canal and a cap or a crown, um, for failure of sealants, for failure of any dental work that you could get done, because the work doesn't last forever. You have to maintain it. And if it's not maintained, it'll fail. In a lot of cases, there's no maintenance really besides just keeping it clean with your regular dental dental health routine, brushing your teeth and flossing and that kind of thing, and they fail anyway. So do you want to pump a couple hundred dollars into your mouth right now and then pump another couple hundred dollars a couple of years down the line? Or do you want to just get rid of the tooth and get rid of the problem and pay one price?
Now, for me, I am not of the school of thought of save all the teeth. I am of the school of thought of remove it and replace it. Uh, but that's just me. Try to hide that, but I can't. Can I do it this way? No. Another question you should ask your dentist is, will your extraction be simple or will it be complicated? A simple tooth extraction is when your dentist can simply but carefully grasp the tooth with a special tool, <clears throat> that thing that looks like a wrench, <clears throat> loosen it, and then remove the tooth from its socket. I almost said gently, but that's not been my experience. <laughs> By contrast, okay, a complicated or surgical extraction is performed by exposing the tooth from underneath the jawbone and periodontal tissues uh, to extract it safely without damaging nearby tissues and bone structure. Impacted wisdom teeth and broken teeth roots often require surgical tooth extraction, though your exact procedure will depend on your specific needs and circumstances. Um, so. Some folks might get uh, referred to an oral surgeon. Some folks have a dentist that can certainly handle complicated extractions. That's, you know, a, a talk that you need to have with your dentist. But as far as the healing process goes, you need to know whether this is going to be a simple extraction or a complicated one. It's easy to say, oh, a simple extraction is one root and complicated is three, but that's not always, that's not always the case. So... In the interest of knowing what you're up against as far as swelling and healing time and damage done to the tissues inside of your face, you should really ask whether your extraction will be simple or complicated. The third question I wanted to cover today was, should I replace the tooth? Should you replace the tooth? Now, clearly, I have replaced teeth. Um, when I started out, I replaced two teeth. I had this one and this one pulled. Uh, first it was this one, then this one was soon to follow. And uh, after they were pulled, since they are anterior or in the front teeth, I had them replaced with a partial denture. Um, <clears throat> for you, if you're on my channel, chances are you're looking at partial dentures or full dentures, and you already know that you want to replace teeth. Um, but, you know, maybe you don't. Maybe it's molars on the bottom that need to come out. Maybe it's, you know, some other combination of teeth and you're still not real sure whether or not you want to replace those. Now, with the exception of our wisdom teeth, most teeth will need to be replaced uh, after they've been extracted. The loss of a tooth can cause other teeth to shift uh, out of alignment and sustain more pressure than normal. And they're more susceptible to damage and tooth decay when that happens. Uh, for instance, when I had these two pulled, everything in the top, well, not everything, everything, but the teeth on either side, and then the teeth next to those all started kind of leaning in to, uh, like, meet to fill in that gap. Um, I had a tooth over here, this one, pulled, and the teeth above it started moving down to fill in the gap. And that caused me other problems. It caused my partial to not fit correctly. And as these teeth moved, um, they uh, were harder to take care of and the decay rate on them increased. And then I had chippy chippy, breaky breaky, spitting out pieces of tooth after eating and drinking and at random sharp edges the whole nine yards um so maybe that's something that you want to avoid by immediately replacing teeth uh after they've been extracted now with full extractions that's not really some like that's a no-brainer you either want dentures or you don't um so you know I, I don't really need to go into all of that um, but, uh, before performing your tooth extractions, your dentist will go over your options for replacing a tooth or multiple teeth after they've been removed. Now, this leads itself into other questions like, what about immediate dentures? Should I wait, um, until, uh, after you know, should I wait until I'm healed up before replacing teeth? That kind of thing. There are lots more questions. I have them and I'm sure you have them. So to have those questions addressed 
or to bring those questions to light for those who may not know or may not have any idea what to ask their dental professional whenever they go in for their consultation for tooth extraction or replacement, tune in to Chomper Chat Live uh, tomorrow night. That's Wednesday, August uh, 8th. Yeah, yeah, because the 9th is Pete's birthday and that's Thursday. Wednesday, August 8th at uh, 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 Central, uh, 6 Pacific, okay? Um, somebody said mention Mountain Time in there somewhere, so that's 7, mount, seven, seven Mountain Time? 9 Eastern, 8 Central, 7 Mountain, 6 Pacific. Um, on my channel right here, uh, I will have Margaret with me, and we will bring up and discuss questions that we've thought of or that we asked our dental professionals whenever we had our extractions done, and we will be happy to uh, take and answer, if we can, your questions. Um, not only that, but I love the chat uh, on Chopper Chat Live. The, uh, the, the gender community gets on there and gets involved with things, and it's so fun to get you know, 20, 30, 40 different people's uh, take on things and for folks to share their journey and answer each other's questions and that kind of thing. So make sure you don't miss it. Um, that is all that I have for you right now. Uh, until next time when I have a fresh new video for everybody, you all keep being good to each other, keep smiling, and keep being awesome.